All right. I wanted to do a little rewazed video here. Um, this is not so much a tutorial or anything, just a little overview of a feature that I really like about rewazed that is still missing in Steam Input and has been a frustration in Steam Input for me over the years. And that's quite simply stick zones in rewazed, which is outer edge bindings in Steam Input. So, you know, we're seeing output of my left stick here. I go all the way forward and I'm sprinting. You know, we're, you, you should be familiar with that. Just <laughs> giving you a little overview. So over, you know, stick all the way forward, sprint. Now the problem in Steam Input is when I would do that. You know, we have a, f a full disc around the outer edge, which is left stick click. So that is also honking the horn. Now, in Steam Input, boy, I think that was a... It was Battlefield 5? It was one of the Battlefield games. I had worked out a way around that, which was like having to use an action layer. And, ugh, it was, <laughs> it was just a lot of work to get rid of that. In Rewazed, piece o cake. So let's hop over into Rewazed. So yeah, and I'm using my, uh, the Fly Digi Vader 2. And then I'm gonna click on left stick. We go to advanced. Then you can see this is showing me in my high zone, which I can define also. Like I could have it be less of a threshold here. In this high stick zone, apply left click. Well, I don't wanna do that. What I wanna do, and this is where it's pretty freaking cool. <laughs> it's like, hey, just when I go up, put in that left stick click. And um, see what, just for an example, no, I don't want to do that. I mean, you could put, you know, tilting on the corners, but we don't want that. I just want to show you this. So we apply. So left stick up only is sprint. Continue. Make sure it's working there. We're sprinting. Only when I push forward. Hop in. Honks the horn, but I can turn left and right because when you're in the vehicle, you don't need that stick. Let's just test that a little bit. Yeah, we got trigger for my analog. Yeah. Hop out. Sprint. Stop sprinting. <laughs> and that feels great. It feels really good. So I'm wondering, I'm just curious now, as we're looking at that as a feature, what if we did down as B? Let's just, just, just bear with me. Let's, let's see what happens. So I sprint forward. Crouch. Hmm. That, I mean, that could, that could work in a game like this, like a tactical kind of slower, kind of slower thing where you're not running all over the place. Yeah, I mean, I would probably not use that. That was just an example, though, to show. But yeah, I mean, it works, it works great. I really wish Steam Input would let you define those different directions on the outer edge. So you could even, I mean, you can get clearly, I mean, I'm only using this higher zone, but you can get pretty crazy with that. You know, like if the game didn't support analog, you know, you can have your inner, inner circle be walk, then have, you know, this is sort of the equivalent of like the soft press in Steam Input where you could split all of these, but within here, 
you can also do all directions, left, right, up, or down for each of those zones. And that, and you can define the radius of those zones. So yeah, it just, it, it gets pretty interesting. I really dig it. It just makes it easier when I'm configuring something like this, which, you know, has been a specific problem and frustration that I had with Steam Input. And that's it. That's all I got. Just a quick little overview of stick zones in Rewazd, and uh, I'm digging them.